Even in the crisp embrace of winter, I savor every day in my den nestled cozily on the slope beside the injured badger's set. The snow-clad ground crunches beneath my nimble paws as I gracefully tread the terrain, navigating with ease that only a well-battled forest creature could muster. My den, a sanctuary of warmth and safety, beckons me with the promise of comfort. They call me the smiley vixen, and indeed, a permanent grin adorns my face, an incongruous sight on a creature known for its potent bite and fearsome reputation. Despite my cuteness, I bear the concealed power of a predator, and the alluring smile, it masks the true nature of my capabilities. Other foxes, bold and curious, still occasionally venture near my den when I'm away on a hunt. They learn, though, not to trifle with the smiley vixen. The memory of their encounters with my voracious defense lingers, as even the bulkier males retreated with tails between their legs. They still show up from time to time when I'm absent, but they dare not provoke my wrath. Their visits, however, are not without their marks. Angry barks would pierce the night, a thunderous reminder of their respect for my territory. Yet, instincts prevail and they would leave their scent as a token gesture of claiming space even in the face of their learned fear. Established as the queen of the den, I revel in the comfort of my domain. On sunny days, I'd bask in the winter sun, lounging near the entrance. When the snow recedes, revealing the earth beneath, I take my time resting on the porch, my fur absorbing the fading warmth of the winter race. But today, the sun plays hide and seek behind the clouds, and a distant distress call echoes through the air. The world outside my den buzzes with activity, yet I remain undisturbed. I stretch myself out at the entrance, my rear comfortably inside, while the front part of my body extends beyond, my grin unfaltering. As the snow gradually melts away over warmer days, I find solace in lingering on the porch, unmoved by the sounds of the surrounding wilderness. The distressing calls of other creatures reach my ears, but I pay them no heed. In that moment, I am the epitome of tranquility, an embodiment of serenity. Thoughts do flit through my cunning mind, at once contemplating the day's catch and then the upcoming winter nights. Yet nothing burdens me. The world could be chaotic beyond the threshold of my den, but on my porch, time stands still. I chill here, and I chill some more, the undisputed queen of my realm, wearing my smile like a crown in the fading winter light.